Hey everybody, Ryan here, and welcome to the first video of BGP Game Dev, where I talk about game development of my games and a lot more. So this is the beta of my current game I'm working on right now. I am using Game Maker Studio 2, and let us start the prototype. Alright, so the prototype of my game is called Retro Rockets. Now that's not going to be the full title of the game. This is kind of more the code name for the game. I'm just calling it Retro Rockets because it sounds kind of catchy, you know. And, you know maybe I'll, I'll use this title for something else, so let us begin. So yes, I am using some placeholder music right now. I'm using the Super Nintendo version of the Star Wars theme. I hope that doesn't get, you know, content ID'd. Well anyways, let us start the game. Start a new game. Alright, so here is my... Really silly looking retro rocket. Here's some enemies. Got the lasers coming in. Alright, so shooting the green enemies right now with my lasers. And so, um, if you get one of these, it actually increases your life. Now we got the blue enemies coming. Alright, so... Now the yellow enemies are here. Gotta get some extra life right there. All these enemies are worth a hundred points. All right, now here's the boss, a uh, big triangle thing. It doesn't really do anything and it's gone, it's dead. All right, so that is pretty much the beta of my game right now. All right, so um, I'm using Game Maker Studio 2 and right now I did all of this in drag and drop. And for the full game, you know, the actual real game, I've actually been converting most of this into a GML, which is the uh, Game Maker Studio programming language. But right now I'm just showing you the Retro Rockets um, project file. Yeah, so I actually used a tutorial from Game Maker Station Mathuru. He's a pretty cool guy and he makes really awesome courses. Um, I liked his course so much that I actually bought his Udemy course, which I'll show you right here. Yeah, so I purchased this course on December 7, 2021, and I highly, highly recommend it. It, like, taught me everything that I need to know. Yeah, so this was a pretty short prototype that I started building in September of 2021. I was kind of working on it on and off, but I had to take a break from it in order to get the Dragon Quest X version 5 review out. And then I had to take another break from it to get the JoJo reviews out. So I was working on this prototype up until uh, mid-February 2022. And then after that, I started working on my actual real game, which the title will be coming soon in the distant future. And as you can see, I've been using Game Maker Studios Drag and Drop, but I've actually been converting most of it to the GML language and I'll probably address this in another video um, comparing my experiences with Game Maker's drag and drop versus GML and so far for the full game which is not going to be called Retro Rockets by the way I've been working with a concept artist who's been producing really cool art and I've also been working with a sprite artist who's definitely enhanced the look of my sprites um, so right now let me show you some of the sprites I made for Retro Rockets so far um, so here is the main sprite. I actually drew this inside of the Game Maker Studio um, pixel editor. So everything in this project was actually drawn by me. Uh, yeah, they look okay, but they look... I mean, they kind of get the job done. You know, here's uh, the blue enemy ship. Here's the green enemy ship. Here is the yellow enemy ship. And here is the mini boss destroyer, which really doesn't do anything, but I've already programmed the first boss in the actual game to actually do something. So yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to tell you the progress of how I'm doing on the full game right now. So I started the full game in the middle of February, like using Retro Rockets as the main engine. I've completely replaced all the graphics. I got all my weapon mechanics working. And I made the enemy AI a lot more intelligent. And I actually got the first mini boss fully functional. And now I'm actually working on the opening cutscene of the game. Yes, the game will actually have cutscenes. It's going to have actual characters with dialogue. And yeah, so like I said in a previous video, the game's going to look really silly. It's going to look more like Parodius, Fantasy Zone, and Twin B. And hopefully sometime this summer or this fall, I will have a full reveal of the game. Now the game will definitely not be done by that time, not even close, because... I'll tell you this, man, making games is really, really, really hard. Like, just to get certain mechanics working pretty much, you know, drove me up the wall. But, man, when you get those mechanics working, like, you get, like, such a high off of it, I swear, man. 
and I'm going to be detailing this in a future video, like detailing my experiences of you know getting back into game development after 15 years and how much it's changed. You know how how much easier it's kind of gotten, but how much harder it's also gotten too. So anyways, guys, that is the prototype of my game, Retro Rockets. That's not going to be the full title. The full title of the game will be coming later this year, hopefully in the summer or fall, most likely fall. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time, Retro Rocket aficionados. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure to check out these other videos. And also make sure to follow me on social media and check out the official Battle Geek Plus website. Take care.